Well, hello everybody. This is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about Dana White and No Prep Kings, the big elephant in the room right now. Now, photographs are likely to the photo owners. Please subscribe and comment and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming all about the Street Outlaws and No Prep Kings race series and all the other Street Outlaw shows. So, the big elephant right now is the fact that Speed Society released an article yesterday where they clearly stated that this was a rumor. And it's a big rumor because there's a lot of talk about Dana White purchasing Street Outlaws or him taking control over NPK, etc. But there hasn't been an official press release from Dana himself or Street Outlaws, etc. So we don't know yet if it's going to be 100% true. But a lot of the Street Outlaws have been talking about this. And Dana was at the Las Vegas race last year. So there might be some interest. And the other fact is that NPK will be going to a live format. So it could very possibly be going to a pay-per-view format. And Dana White is the king of pay-per-views. So that is interesting. And I'm sure if he does get involved, it's going to be very interesting, to say the least. But it's not confirmed and the fact that Speed Society did an article, everybody's going nuts right now over that. But they clearly stated in that article that it's a rumor. So we don't have anything more to say about Dana and NPK. I see it on Facebook today that everybody's going nuts about this and that it's confirmed that Dana bought Street Outlaws. But till we see a press release from Dana himself or the powers to be, etc., we can't really confirm that. Now, I do believe there's going to be a major change that Street Outlaws is not going anywhere because you can see the stands on the NPK events. And on Saturday, mostly, even in bad weather or really cold weather, they're packed. A lot of people are attending these NPK events and it's probably one of the biggest races in drag racing right now. Definitely one of the biggest racing series. So... It's not going away that easy, and I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon. But they're going to change the format. If it goes to a live pay-per-view format, I think it'll be successful because people like me can't really attend the races. But as long as the format and the quality of the live feeds is good, I would pay it. And I think a lot of people would pay a pay-per-view event as long as the quality is there. So... Let's see what happens, but as of right now, it's not 100% confirmed that Dana has something to do with NPK. At least that's what I believe, so let's see what happens.